Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Sam Livecast. It's Friday of the hell. Viewer recipe. Viewer recipe week for appetizers for the holidays that we've not tried. It's ingenious. And the, the lesson here is, what's the lesson, Max? The lesson is, don't make something for company unless you've tried it. Yes. And we're proving that today. But we've done okay. We've done okay uh, with the, uh, the, the chicken, the, the little chicken things with the taco seasoning and the chips from Wednesday and then the, the uh, puffball things on Monday. So today, our recipe uh, reads... Uh, it says it actually says, hey, me, cooking guy. I think it means, hey, Mr. Cooking Guy. Hey, Mr. Cooking Guy, I know you like shrimp, so I wanted to send this shrimp with wasabi dip along. He had me at wasabi. I, I assume it's a he. Uh, it's an email address. There's no name, but the email address has Ben in it at the beginning, so I'm going to go with Ben. The amounts can vary. So here are the ingredients, and you can make it the way you like. How is that a recipe, Master Chef? <laughs> Look where he is. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, I'm just saying, man. You can back out while it's still fresh. Yeah, well, you're going to see. The ingredients are not... I mean, it's not a c- c- crazy list. The amounts can vary, so here are the ingredients. You can make it the way you like. We usually grill shrimp on the barbecue to go with this, but I'm sure you'll do what you want. That's absolutely right. Like Ben367 at whatever it is. Sour cream, lemon juice, wasabi paste, garlic cloves, fresh horseradish, grated, salt and pepper. How does that sound? I think it sounds like a good list. I don't have fresh horseradish. Who has fresh horseradish? Fresh. How many people have fresh horseradish? I can't believe you don't have fresh horseradish. Horse. (laughs) Nobody can say that. I got you screwed up. By the way. Doesn't he look like, wait, by the way, doesn't he look like Clark Kent? Yes. Like a giant Asian Clark Kent with the yes. glasses. I like you with glasses. Oh, and I you're wearing it. your hair that new way. I like that. You know these glasses are like Coke bottles, right? Yeah, I can see that from here. I'm just saying, but I like you in glasses and I like the new hair. I appreciate it, man. You look good. Thank you. I mean that in the most honest way possible. Okay, so sour cream, lemon juice, wasabi paste. I can do all this. Sour cream, lemon juice behind me, wasabi paste. I know I don't have open, but I have one of these. Meyer lemon juice. I hope that doesn't screw the recipe. I love a Meyer lemon. Isn't a Meyer lemon good? So good. Really fragrant. I mean, wow, on the fragrancy scale. Like this. That was definitely one of my favorite things to get from the uh, farmer's market. Really right. good Meyer lemons. Uh, hold on. Oh, God, I lost it. Okay, uh, lemon juice, wasabi paste, uh, garlic. Sour cream, lemon juice, wasabi paste, garlic, horseradish, salt and pepper. And I have uh, Bobby's prepared horseradish and salt and pepper. That's right here. So now it's up to us. Lynn Chief. And the, the, I think the th- important part here, this is, I need more horseradish than that. I mean, uh, sour cream. I think the important part is, take my shrimp out while I'm there. I think the important part of this will be trying to get a sense of how much we're measuring in. Right? So people could actually follow this. Since all of my um, other measuring cups are being used in the dog food world, Mm -hmm. they live in the dog food bins, we're going to go with a third of a cup because that's the only one I have left. Maybe this isn't it. Nope. Oh, almost. Third of a cup. There we go. Okay, third of a cup of sour cream. Okay. You talk less that you're out here. I have to bend down for this mic and I'm You talk less when you're out here than you were in the back. 
you want me to talk more? I want you to talk more. Okay. We're figuring out a new setup. Right? I know, because he's not talking at all for some reason. He's barely talking, and you're not talking. Nobody's fucking talking except for me, and I can talk all day long, but I like the interjection from you guys. Because <laughs> no one interjects. Nobody interjects. Okay. All right. So screw everyone. Just cook, cook guy. Just, just cook. cook. I'm just going to do this. So let's go with uh, juice of, I don't know, should we say a tablespoon of lemon juice? Quarter lemon. Well, I can't really measure this. Why do you hold it facing up? So the seeds don't fall out. Oh. I'm not as There's stupid. a method to his madness. I'm not as stupid as I look. <laughs> Sour cream, lemon juice, wasabi paste. So let's go with like a tablespoon of wasabi paste, okay. which looks like this to me. Okay. Beautiful. Let's throw uh, one clove of garlic in. Hold on. Maybe I have one already to go. Oh, I do. We're going to know not too big a clove of garlic. We'll go this guy. Clove of garlic. This is our time. We're doing... I you never set the timer. We have a timer for this? We're good. We have okay, like good. five minutes. Okay, good. 6.24. So now how much horseradish? Tablespoon. I like it horsey. You do? Horse well, we're going to taste it. Oh, God. That's all I got, I think. So well, let's go with a tablespoon and see how that works out for us. And then salt and pepper. So we'll say pinch of salt and pepper, right? You know what I'd like in here? Talking. Some color. What'd you say? Oh, I thought you were going to say talking. No. I, I like some color. There's a, a little hint of what the green has done from the wasabi. Like a very slight hint. Mm -hmm. But I'd like like flex of like... Am I going to screw with the recipe? With the guy's dude's recipe? If I... He told you to screw with it. He did. He, yeah. Well, he told me to screw with the amounts. Hold on. I think you're just fine screwing with it. Well, it's pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> Nobody move. I suppose uh, green onion would be the obvious thing that everybody thinks I would put in, but it wouldn't work here. I'd like some cilantro. If I have some cilantro. Ah, oh, shit. Why does this have to be complicated for me? What is that? What is this? That's no good. What's this? <laughs> it's parsley. I thought I had cilantro. Cilantro. I got it. You either need a bigger fridge or a better system. I think I need a better system. <laughs> okay. This is now. And it's... And let me cut up here. Is this good? Yes. I should cut up here, right? Mm. Yes? Yep. That's what that mm meant? Yes. Try to take out the big stems if you can. You don't really need them there. And then. I still see plenty of stems in here. I could have picked this over a little better, but that's okay. <laughs> That's the horrible noise you make while we're setting up. That's this horrible mic check. We have to check the mics before the show to make sure they work. And the noise that I make is this. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Okay, look it. But it helps me cut. So this is what? Now we've added two tablespoons of diced cilantro. Of, a, of like finely chopped cilantro, okay? Because what I'm looking for is what this is going to do. That. See that? See the chunkiness of the, the extra thing in there? That's what I like. Okay. That's good. All right. So let's do this. Let me show you how we're going to skewer these guys. Oh, shit. I might have to, might have to do it after. Gosh. Three minutes. Okay. Three minutes. 
Here's how we skewer shrimp. There's all kinds of ways to skewer shrimp. The, the classic way, the common way is this. And I hate that. That's not fun for me. What's fun for me is going lengthwise into the whole thing. And we've done this before, but I think this presentation, when it's cooked, they stand up, they lay down, they look really good. This is what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the, the, uh, my flat griddle. I'm gonna get it hot. Our sauce is ready. When we come back, I'm gonna have these guys all skewered up, ready to go, and then we just have to put it together. Does that make sense? Yes. I think it makes perfect sense. By the way, uh, I put five new cooking guy classes, cooking classes on the website. The classes are at Perch here in San Diego. Sorry if you don't live in San Diego, but plenty of people have come from elsewhere, most commonly Arizona and uh, Vegas for classes. Perch is an amazing store. Uh, it's appliances, it's kitchen, bath, it's outdoor like you've never seen before. And there's an amazing spot inside. The kitchen is called Saver. That's where I do my classes. Classes for me are about 25 people at a time. You come to Perch at UTC here in San Diego. You walk around. You enjoy yourself. You come to the class. You walk around after. It's fantastic. Check out Perch online. We're simpatico with each other. You know what that means? That means we like them and they like us. Perch is an amazing place. I don't care what you have in your kitchen. Appliances, sinks, dishwashers, refrigerators, ovens, stoves, that kind of stuff. When you walk into Perch, you're going to hate everything that you've got. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing for Perch. But let's, let me tell you, it's the place to go. They sell appliances, kitchen, bath, outdoor, like nobody else does. All right, we come back. We'll start to cook these things, dip them in that. I think we're going to be very happy, very happy with Ben, if that's really his name's recipe. Don't go away. Don't go away. All right, so here's where, here's where we are. Shrimp skewered. Ah, this is interesting. I don't know who the hell to show the can this, this to. This camera or this I got camera? It. This camera or this camera? This camera for a bit? This camera for a bit. I think I know what you want me to do with the editing. I don't know what you want. <laughs> so you go back and forth. Yeah, of course. Exactly. <laughs> Make everybody seasick. So now here's all this needs. It needs a little olive oil. See, I'm not putting a lot on. Right? It doesn't need a ton. And it needs some salt and pepper, which I have here in one little bowl. And remember, look at, yes, we've salt and peppered this, the little um, wasabi sauce that it's going in. But remember what I always say. If you eat a shrimp without any sauce, if somebody's on a diet and they come in and they go, oh, I don't want any sour cream or I don't like wasabi, I don't like horseradish or horseradish, and they eat a shrimp by itself, if you haven't seasoned the shrimp, you've screwed them. So don't screw them. All the components of a dish have to be seasoned. It's critically important. Now come over here. Who's coming over here? I'm coming. Wait a sec. Do we need to make sure that uh, Chief has got a shot here? Oh, he We're can all come in. You're all good? So now this is cold. This is hot. So my sticks won't burn. Now I'm going to just put all these guys right here. Here lies the beauty, sorry Max, you were about to say something, of one of these flat griddles. I know, they're great. Uh, I love them. You know, when we redid our kitchen and put this big griddle, this big stove in. Hold on. Ow, ow. Crap. Shit. F. Damn it. When we put the stove in, um, the... It's the horse horseradish packaging. Oh, when we redid our kitchen, this stove uh, got put in place. This flat griddle was in a box that came with it. And I unpacked it and I put it on here. Just wanted to see what it looked like. Fully imagining I would just take it off and only use it for special occasions. It's never left. If you watch the show on a regular basis, you see how often I use it. I can tell you right now, I probably use this griddle at least five times a week. Sometimes seven. Sometimes eight. Uh, every day, at least. Almost every day, I'm good. using this I, could, I would not it's, imagine a day goes by that you don't use that. Instead of whipping a pan out and doing that, 
I just love this thing. Hold on. Sorry, Lynn. No, you're good. I'm just going right here. Well, that's my phone. That means my stuff's right there. It's okay. I turn that off. So now these guys, look, are not going to take very long. You can see, right, the color's starting to happen here. And remember, you can eat raw shrimp. So why do you overcook it? Well, you overcook it because... Because in your mind, you need to cook these things until they're like really well done. And that's not what I want you to do. I want you to cook these things till they're still a little moist inside. Yes, they've got a little color. Yes, they've, they've got some crispiness to them. But no, they're not like hard little like lumps of leather. It's not what I want for you. And despite what you think about me and how foolish I am, the stupid things I do, I really want you to learn. That's what this is about. I want your food life to be better. I can't put it any other way. So there, how do you feel about that? Good, I feel good about Lynn being out here. How no, about that? Lynn right there, he's so quiet. This, it, you know what, you want Lynn to be quiet? Bring him out front. He's focusing on his shot. I know, because he's working. So, and that's the problem, man. I don't know if I like that. Don't I worry, we'll it, get more comfortable. It's I just think our first I time. think I'm okay with it. It's our first time. We just gotta get me a mic that I can wear on me. Oh yeah. Oh, you don't have. Oh I'm yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get another log. Uh huh. That's a simple thing, right? Yeah. Okay, but we're learning, right? Okay, Everybody we're all watching an experiment in progress. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't know. You know, right. I just think about it. I was explaining to somebody uh, two days ago how the live cast has changed since the beginning. In the beginning, it was like a talk show. Um, the beginning was a talk show married to like uh, some cooking. That was like about a half an hour long. And then it went to, there were, we have, we've had hour and a half long episodes. Yeah. That are ridiculous. I think that's too much for people to watch. Then we scaled it way back. We got rid of the talking. Now it's just straight ahead cooking. It's all about you. We haven't shortened it for us. We've shortened it for you. And we've shortened it for, come here, boo-boo. No, Lewis. Come on. He's such a scaredy cat. Scared. No, he's not really. Poor baby. He's not a baby. He's seven pounds. Hi, Boo Boo. Look at those ears. They're like satellite dishes on his head. Okay. I can hardly hear you. You can hardly hear me? Oh, yeah, you were covering oh, he was my covering mic. mic. Okay. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to call these guys done. So here we go. Take our plate. If you want them to have a little bit more color, you can do this. There we go. How's that? Perfect. That's not where they go. They go like this. Here we go. Check it out, I love it. There's your oh sorry, Lynn, you want it up here. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Wow. You want it up there. That's the thing to do. If you give it a little of this. No reason for that. I just like pepper. I like the way it looks. So there's our little shrimp. Nicely cooked. Still moist. And now our little sauce. And here's the important test, really, is this. I mean, we've had a million shrimp a million times before. But it's this little wasabi horseradish. Wow. What did you say about horseradish, Chief? I like it punchy. It's punchy. I but like you it. know what? It's up front punchy and then it dies down, which is really good. That's how horseradish should be. I think it's better than the like the lingering, hanging out for a long time punchy. Holy shit, is that good. Damn it. Let's do this. Success? Let me give you boys each one, shall we? Yeah. There's still enough for you to take a picture of their Chief? Yeah. Can't wait. Okay, here you go. How do we do this? How do we get everybody on camera that, trying this? Don't worry, we got that camera back there. Maxie? Oh my gosh. Just down the whole thing. 
That's not the whole mm. thing. You wussed out. You wussed out again. Mmm. We need napkins. Whoa. Mm. How good is that? Mm-hmm. Great, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely got some punchy horseradish. But now, but now, think about it. The punch is going away. Mmm. And is. you're just left with great flavor. Totally it's amazing. Okay. Nice work. All right. Well, thank you, Ben. Good stuff, man. For this, it's been a good week. You've got three new appies to throw into your arsenal to see how they turn out. And um, I think you should be happy with this. That's the point of the live cast. You watch, you learn, and you find new things that you can make that will make you happy and are easy for you to pull off. All right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't know what next week is, but uh, please come back, hang out with us, tell your friends. That makes us happy. I have new classes on the website. I already mentioned that. Cookingguy.com. Recipes are there. Tips are there. Event stuff is there. Everything's there. Just go there. Just go there. And the live cast. If you go to the cookingguy.com, you can get the live cast from there and everything's, everything's colbacetic, as we say, in my world. Have a good weekend, everybody. Don't do anything stupid now and don't eat crappy food. Courage. Dan Rather. It's Dan Rather's line from the CBS Evening News from a hundred years ago. It was a stupid line. He did it for like three months and then he stopped saying. He would end his live his broadcast like this. And that's it for the CBS Evening News. I'm Dan Rather. Courage. And people were laughing at him. It was a ridiculous thing to say. No, that's and perhaps the time of, of uh, the world right then needed something like that, but that wasn't the right line. All right, have a good weekend. See ya.